We're awaiting President Trump as he heads to Capitol Hill to meet with House Republicans on immigration. In the meantime, let's have a monologue. <laughs> so on other networks, the Holocaust was mentioned 12 times over three days. Guess why? I know they're being marched away to showers. Uh, are they're uh, being told they are, just like the Nazis had, had, had said that they were taking people oh. to showers and then they never came back. Donald Trump increasingly looks like Hitler in Nazi Germany. <laughs> they are the tactics that have been used through, the, through history by the worst purveyors of pure evil, including slave traders, including Nazis, including terrorists. Well, the images suggest those of concentration camps, families being cut apart. All right. And let's not forget General Michael Hayden's tweet saying other governments separated families too, i.e. Nazi Germany. So temporarily housing kids makes the United States the Third Reich and our agents the SS. But other governments, does he mean Obama's? Here's a Washington Post headline from 2015. Mexican kids held for months as punishment for border crossing. And here's the president from 2014. Our message absolutely is don't send your children unaccompanied uh, on trains or through, uh, through a bunch of smugglers, we don't even know how many of these kids don't make it and may have been waylaid into sex trafficking or killed because they fell off a train. He's absolutely right, which is why Trump stepped up the arrests of adults for violating immigration laws and also busting child sex traffickers. Yet no one compared President Obama to Nazis. But now they offend Holocaust victims, survivors, and Americans in charge of taking care of these kids while they're here. Right, Wolf? Do you understand the controversy oh, that any comparison to the I, Holocaust? I yes, the kids uh, were brought in the trains yeah. to Birkenau, right. which was at Auschwitz. Uh, I speak with some uh, authority oh, on I, this. My I grandparents know. were murdered at Auschwitz, and my, uh, my dad survived. But two of his brothers and two of his sisters were killed at Auschwitz. They were separated. Uh, they weren't separated to go to some other facility. They were separated to die. Well done, Wolf. Fact is, this problem is born from a larger broken system. And now we're trying to solve long-term and short-term crises at once. It's like plugging a hole in a boat while you're rowing. Some people saw it coming. Remember when we tried to help countries under the thumbs of anti-capitalists? Folks who stopped that are now shocked to see people fleeing those very countries. And now everyone is alive with condemnation, but press for an alternative, they got nothing. And we're waiting for one, something no White House before has actually produced. So we all agree separation sucks, but when faced with child sex trafficking and a tripling of pretend families, where is your answer? Instead, the media uses children to maintain the narrative that Trump is evil, even as he reduces the threat of nuclear war, and with no memory of what they reported when their guy was president. Donna, do you agree that uh, I think the White House is saying that this is an emotional political ploy? Well, first of all, I looked at the president's favorite newspaper today, mm -hmm. and this is the New York Post. Yes. So this they is, changed, Donna. Yeah. Well, this, look, look. <laughs> yeah. This is about the separation of yeah. children from their families, mm -hmm. and while President Obama did have a policy uh, that basically sent people back across the border. It was very rare that he separated children from their family. This is a policy change that the Trump administration put in place six weeks ago. They should change it. What's the, the alternative, US, the, though? The U.S. Chamber of Commerce. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce today came out with a bold statement. These are not your typical right. liberal progressive papers or gotcha. organizations. And everyone is saying it is time to end this policy, Mr. President. Let's figure out a way to have comprehensive immigration reform. Let's bring more judges to the border. Let's bring more border uh, patrol. But let's end the policy of separating children from their if parents. We can't se here's the issue, though. If we can't separate them, that's what we do in America when someone goes to jail. You, you have to separate them. And no one is offering a solution. I think we're making a wrong comparison here, Dana. The alternative is the possibility of being with a child sex trafficker. Like, we're t like this may not be a good, this is a terrible alternative, but it, this is an actually worse alternative. Right. So um, I do think there are some like specific alternatives to change this, which it would be um, to plan ahead. There's money to be allocated and then try to uh, house these families in yes. together. Or I like your idea. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes back together on a bus. You don't want to be separated. Okay, fine. Everybody yep. got on the bus and you're across the border. If you do it again, 
it's a felony and you will be separated. Something like that that would right. be like, okay, like we don't want to do that. And, and I agree that like the people who are being tasked with carrying out the six-week-old policy, they don't want to have to do it, but they are carrying out the request of the president that this, this is the policy. Um, and then also, I do think that there's this narrow path. So Ted Cruz has an option. Uh, I guess the president will probably talk about it. He doesn't like it. Yeah. because it just deals with this particular issue. But he might just have to be for what's going to happen here. Yeah. And get that, take that part, get that off the, t uh, get that off the table, maybe get some additional uh, judges because I think the other thing is that we should th talk about, and it's difficult to talk about for me, I think, um, is that what's the asylum process mm -hmm. and what's the bar? Right. And because there, it's very easy to say, okay, well, then I claim asylum, and then you have this huge backlog, and then you have this problem. I also think that if you're going to have this policy and you want to own it, then plan ahead and mm -hmm. figure out what's the process of getting the children back in touch with their families because the reports of them not being able to do so is difficult. And the last thing I would say is we have to figure out a way to collectively go after the drug cartels mm -hmm. and not each other because it's actually the drug cartels that are fueling a lot of this. Right. I don't think, you know, Jesse, it's hard to defend separation. But if it's preferable to an increase in child, if you don't know if these are real families, what can you do? You've got to separate them before you find out if they're legitimately a family. Yeah, I mean, whether the Democrats realize it or not, it doing what they want to do actually helps the child smugglers, and no one wants that. And Ted Cruz has a bill. Mm -hmm. It's right here. It's piecemeal. He says families get united. We dumber, double the number of immigration judges. An asylum case takes 14 days. That keeps everything together. Why don't the Democrats, like crying Chuck, just get on board of this piecemeal bill, send it to the president's desk? They could do that right now, but they don't want to do it because they want to exploit it. Dianne Feinstein has legislation, Hi. Stein, <laughs> which is absolutely ridiculous. She says Border Patrol agents can't even arrest and detain an adult with a child, illegal, within 100 miles of the southern border. What's that going to do? That's just going to encourage more people for right. bringing in children into the southern hemisphere. So, you know, Kate Steinle was also separated by her family with a bullet fired by an illegal alien felon who was deported five times. And, and the Democrats didn't really say much about that. So when they complain now, it's like hard to take seriously. No one wants to see families separated. I don't want to see families separated. But fix the law. Mm -hmm. Fix the law. He's not going to end catch and release. That's not happening. Well, okay. uh, Jesse, it, it, back in December of last year, I don't know if you were planning your holidays, but I wasn't. <laughs> but what President Trump put in place back in December was a policy that, as you know, Attorney General Session announced just six weeks ago, was to prosecute everybody right. and then find out later if they're part of a gang, part of a cartel, part of, a, part of trafficking. What... Senator Feinstein and others are saying we keep families together. Is that keep them together? Now, as you well, there's you laws vet, that say you can't as do you that, vet, Donna, and you know that. Well, this is a policy change. This is a policy no, no. change. The 97 law says you can't hold a minor yeah. for more than 20 days, me, and the 2008 deal because of the smugglers. Keep you President can't Obama house them the in federal intact. detention keep facilities together. Keep the families together. intact. Keep the. F I this is a simple strategy. Keep the families intact, and then you go through the vet process. Let me get okay. Kimberly Cruz in on says, this. Let's you know, do it that way. You know the law, and you know. Yeah, and I think uh, you know there's really um, a concerted effort to distort really what's going on here for political purposes. I mean, at the heart of it, people do care about children. We care about families, but you have to understand how we arrived in this position, which is people breaking the law. And even if we put them on the bus back, who's to say that they're not with the sex trafficker and you return them back with that person? What we're at least trying to do here, in a responsible way and in a careful way is identify who the child is, the minor, who is the adult accompanying the child, and make sure that in fact there is a match and that they are a relative and properly should be in that person's, um, you know, I guess like custody, so to speak, and, you know, parental rights. This is very difficult. I, I have a hard time, though, accepting that it's okay to demonize ICE agents and Border Patrol and the president and the administration, all saying that they're mean-spirited and they want children abused. Well, they're Nazis. Or <laughs> Nazis and cages and all of these things. I mean, this is a, a very tough problem. That's why immigration is important for them to address in a responsible way. But again, the laws must be upheld and there must be some procedure by which they are identified properly so as to not make mistakes 
mistakes. Can you imagine the outrage if we went ahead and let somebody go with a sex offender and really encouraged and were acting essentially in concert, aiding and abetting sex trafficking? How irresponsible the United States, they don't care about children, they just let them go with anybody, and then the child, God forbid, ends up raped or tortured or murdered or something like they that. They should have zero tolerance on that. Let me, uh, do, let's go to Donald Trump. He had some comments today regarding this issue and the media bias regarding it. Those who apply for asylum legally at ports of entry are not prosecuted. The fake news media back there doesn't talk about that. They are helping these smugglers and these traffickers like nobody would believe. That when countries abuse us by sending their people up, not their best, we're not going to give any more aid to those countries. Why the hell should we? Someday, they're going to vote for Democrats. Because they can't win on their policies, which are horrible. Their only policy was that Donald Trump is a bad guy, hundreds of millions of dollars of negative ads. Nobody's ever been hit like that. I used to go home, I started disliking myself. It's true. And it's hard to believe, that's, Dana. That's hard to do. Almost impossible. You probably never heard of John Kerry and how he was swift bullets. So, yeah, that is true. Uh, that's that is true. true. But you know when Bob Corker, uh, Orrin Hatch, Lamar Alexander, John McCain, uh, Susan Collins, Ben Sass. I mean, I have a whole list but of But none of them have solutions. But they yeah, are, I think they do. Yes. I, I haven't Ted, heard they one. Do. The Ted, they do. You don't think that Ted Cruz No, Ted does Cruz, does? yes. But the, all the ones that are now but doing are, the outrage signaling show. all over Twitter who are, I won't mention the politicians' names, but they're all outrage signaling. And they're all so solemn about it, but they don't, they have the first part, they, they hate it, which we all do. The second part, what do you do about it? Silence. But the actual uh, members that she just listed, they're all supporting the cruise bill. Well, that's good. Well, they, they, that's a look, start. Look, w w first of all, I want to go back to what you said at the top of the show. Mm -hmm. um, American slavery and the Holocaust, they were absolutely evil events. Mm -hmm. and, and while people often use them to describe the pain or describe the degradation or dehumanization, these were absolutely evil events. What people are saying now is that they think that this compares to that. I, I try to tell people, don't do it. Exactly. Don't go there. Yes. But at the same time, we have to call this an outrageous act because these kids are being abused. Well, I don't They're know. being separated well, from their families. Right. In, you in, have in, children. In, you yeah, are I do. a father. I do. In, in Where's most your bracelet? In, in most cases, <laughs> Donna, if someone comes across with a minor, they're only separated for a day. Doesn't if you, matter apply for asylum, that's going to take longer than 20 days. Yeah. And the law says, based on the Clinton administration and upheld by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, you can't hold a minor longer than 20 but that's days. that's why Ted Cruz and that's says what 14 they, days. Right, and that's why he lowered it to 14. Right. And what the Obama administration got whacked for was they were sending these young kids mm -hmm. to sponsors or uncles somewhere within the interior of the United States. And these kids were being abused, made to work slave wager jobs, they and, were sent back. and, and it malnourished. Was it was rare. That no, but they, it they was happening, and that's why we're trying remember. to take care of the kids. I remember that period. And that's the most important thing, taking care and of the children. we have to take care of the children. But what's your, I, I, I'm trying to figure out, what is the solution that prevents the separation again? I'm just trying to figure this out. Because if, if 10,000 people, if 10,000 of these kids are unaccompanied, they're already separated. Right. Right. So that leaves 2,000. So we, what are they doing now? You can, you, right now, when someone crosses with a minor, yeah. and there's no prior history of anything like that, and they're not claiming asylum, right. they detain them yeah. for a day, prosecute them, reunite them with the kid, and then send them back. Right. But if you apply for you asylum, process. that's, yeah, process, process. Yeah, that's going to take them forever. Mm -hmm. Asylum cases take them forever. Them forever. And the then they get to speak on the phone to the parent. To the their... president needs to understand that this is a crisis that he can resolve tonight with a yeah. pen. Everybody could actually resolve it. There's the no, Democrats and the Republicans. No, the president. He has the pen. Well, he's the first guy to actually try. And that's I, what do you mean? The first guy to actually try, like I mean, this, I mean, people have tried comprehensive immigration reform before. Yeah, but have dealt I with think, this particular the, issue. I think this particular issue is directly related to a porous border. Correct? It's a strategy. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a strategy to try to get a compromise, and this is a bad strategy. Well, you can disagree with the strategy, but you cannot disagree with the fact that this border, that this guy is trying to small. trying to tighten the border. We, we all know that we have a problem. Yeah. Comprehensive immigration reform. We need it. I agree. See, we can all agree here. Let's go for drinks.